All right, here's how you change oil on a 2020 Titanium Edge Ford. And this goes for newer models, as well as basically any vehicle that needs oil. You're gonna wanna come up here to the top, figure out what type of oil you need, 5W30 in this case. You can check your oil dipstick, or you can check on the infotainment center on the dash. There's a thing. Uh, when you go to the oil, the, the parts store, you, they'll usually have a book. So if you don't know what type of oil, you can usually figure it out here. Same thing with the oil filters. They didn't have a book here, but instead they had this QR code, so I scanned that. Find your parts number, and there we go. I use Mortarcraft because it's specific to Ford. You'll have to find out what's specific for your vehicle. So sometimes the oil filter will be on the top of the engine, on the side, or in the front near the fan. Um, my BMW, it's in the front. Um, in this case, it's going to be underneath. So we're going to have to take off all this plastic shielding here. There's 10 bolts. I'm missing one there. And there are go all the way around so hey, from they're about seven millimeters Snowflake. Snowflake. so not perfectly snug and it's not specific to Ford but it worked for me So I just took these all off by hand. They weren't too bad. Sometimes you won't have covers at all. Maybe it's an older vehicle or maybe they just got ripped off. But in my case, I have to take off this entire cover. This is what they're going to look like once you take them out. And you just work your way around the vehicle from front to back in my case. Now I'm doing all this without jack stands so I'm reaching all the way far back as possible. Now I know it's not all the way off here, I just wanted to show you, here's where the oil filter is going to be. Right in the front, there it is. Now this is where your oil plug is, your drain plug. It's the grated, you see how the metal looks like a, like a fence almost I guess. And here's how you find it, in case you don't know, that's your transmission filter I believe. And uh, it goes to here. There's the pulleys, this is going to be your engine, and your drain plug. So we took it all the way out. This is what it looks like. There's all these holes on the side, there's going to be ten of them all the way around. And mine's missing one, so you won't see all of them here. All right, it's going to be a 15 millimeter in my case for the drain plug. And you just cook it up to this ratchet. You're heavy. Just put it on there. Okay. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Good reminders. <laughs> now you're going to want to get a. Um, something to drain your oil into. In my case, I'm using this like lasagna pan, which is not the best case scenario. I was doing this for a friend and he didn't, I thought he had one, right there. he did not. So the ratchet didn't work. So I'm using this hand tool now. There it is. Okay, is it under? Mm -hmm. 
and you're just gonna want to make sure that the thing is underneath and the car was running not that long ago so it's gonna be a little hot so you'll see me warn my friend here it's gonna be very hot real hot oh because it was still on yeah so just be careful okay and I usually hold the bolt with me or I'll have like a magnet if it does fall in the pan um, I'll just pick it up with a magnet so I don't have to stick my hand in there and unfortunately it spilled over this is what he had so I was just making do so I guess right be okay. um, after that's finished draining up, I come over here with the drain plug still open. I come and start taking off this oil yes. filter. Okay. And I was able to take this one off by hand. They do have special tools to help out. It's already on the Oh, we're fine. That's what it's going to look like with the oil filter off. I cleaned it up usually before putting the new one on. And I hand tighten it. Just put it back on. Then I'll clean it off again because I had a little bit of oil on my hands. plug back in no, no. and you're gonna so want to tighten it I tighten everything by hand um, there is specific yeah. torque <coughs> specs but I don't use them uh, you can kind of get a feel for it so I tightened it in I closed up cleaned it up now you're going to want to get your new oil, open it up, and I make like a little tiny hole in the front to help with the pouring, and my friend also did not have a funnel, nor did we buy one, so I use a little styrofoam cup, I make a hole at the bottom of it, and I'll stick the dipstick through the hole into the into this hole here. Where you're stepping. No, you motherfucker. Get down. No. Nope. That's his dog stepping in the oil there. Just gonna want to line it up. The dipstick just helps. Uh, making sure that the oil doesn't go around as much. It'll at least help stick to the dipstick and go down. And that's just to help get started. Come on, bitch. And once enough is out, I'll just go ahead and pour it out myself. Now I poured out the entire five quarts. That's what was specific to my vehicle. And I'll usually carry around an extra quart of oil for that week, just to be safe. Tightening it up by hand before we put all those covers back on. Mm -hmm. 
It was on there earlier when I was pouring, I just didn't torque it all the way. Now here is how you're gonna reset your oil. You're gonna go to this infotainment thing, go through a couple of the screens, the display mode, you should get to this. Hold the okay and reset your oil life, which I already did a second ago. Come and check your oil. Now, unfortunately, I poured a little bit of the oil into the dipstick hole. So, um, this isn't the most accurate, but I appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you didn't know how to change your oil, now you do.